there's a war out there, old friend. A world war. And it's not about who's got the most bullets. It's about who controls the information. What we see and hear, how we work, what we think. It's all about the information. You want a war? You got a war. And there's no looking back. There's no forgetting. And there's no forgiving. I can see it all clearly now. The more we build, the more haters try to tear it down. The more we build. Now you listen to me. All of you. You hoodlums don't own these streets. the uh, new intro for Covert Radio. I think I'm actually going to use that. um, I think I'm going to use that for the live stream. Hopefully we'll be able to start live streaming again. I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully uh, everybody had a, a good day and a good evening and no tragedies were, uh, but you know, that's the weird thing with the internet. It's like somebody at some point in time listening to this would have to have experienced a tragedy today. I remember uh, when I was a little boy, like probably around eight, nine, I'd say around nine years old, uh, we uh, we were going to my Aunt Betty's for, um, I think we were going to pick her up to go to some, you know, my grandma's or something, but we get to this one intersection and there's all these, you know, fire trucks and police and everything. So we go up there and uh, there was a guaranteed fatalities, guaranteed fatalities in this car wreck. It was a head on collision. You know, it's probably what, 11 in the morning, uh, uh, Thanksgiving day. And it's like, you know, I felt so bad. That stuck with me for the rest of my life. Like, I always think back on Thanksgiving, it always crosses my mind that it's for some people like, you know, the holidays are ruined and that's like Bray Carp was saying last night at uh, Styles' hangout was, um, you know, he uh, misses his granny and it's hard, you know, the holidays are hard. It is. I lost my mom a few years ago right around this time and it's, you know, it changes. It definitely does. It definitely does. But... Man, where do I start, literally? Like, there's so much stuff. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to put together a uh, best of or, s- like, the secret vault or something with Covert Radio at some point because this, I think, is now the fourth time I recorded this because things keep changing, and I don't want to waste your time. I, I really want to just you know, make my points move forward. But I I definitely have some explaining to do. And I've I've made a few statements recently about covert radio. You know, I had I've said this uh, vocally, and I've also uh, stated this in a few messages to certain people, I said, you know, Tommy Sotomayor has ruined covert radio Tommy has destroyed my channel and I said if I knew how this was going to work out and I'm going to explain this as quick as I can if I knew how this was going to work out I would have never ever ever have ever mentioned his name on this channel you know in a way it's um you know Tommy could listen to this and say I never told you to mention my name, you know, which you didn't, Tommy. You never did. But the fact is, it is your fault because you're nowhere near as big as you portray yourself to be. You're nowhere near as big as you portray. 
And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Your name literally means nothing. And rather, I got into this at the wrong time or the right time or it doesn't matter at all. It still doesn't change the fact that you've destroyed my channel. And here, and here's what I mean by that. I'm going to show you guys this picture here. When I log into YouTube, this is the screen that I'm faced with. And I, you know, I could click the little don't ask me again down there. But these are uh, all of my channels. Well, all of the ones that are under the covert radio umbrella. So when I log into YouTube, it says use YouTube as, and I could pick any one of my channels and, and you know, go about under that channel. I, this is what I want you to look at right here. There's Covert Radio. That's my premier channel, my main channel. And I have 31 videos on that channel. Probably 98% of them dealing with Tommy Sotomayor. And I have 944 subs. Okay. And that channel was created, I believe, it's been six months now. It was March, April, right around there is when I created Covert Radio on YouTube. If you look down a little bit to Covert Radio Mess Hall, I have five videos and 952 subscribers. You know, it makes me laugh every time Tommy keeps going on and on and on about you know, even uh, why am I such a target? People trying to make money off my back. Like, you know, like just dude, you're n Tommy, you're a channel destroyer. Mentioning your name is not a smart thing to do. It's not financially smart. It's not ethically smart. It's not there's no business acumen that you could ever convince me of that mentioning tying your name or brand to anything my name or brand is associated with is a good idea. It's not. And I genuinely, from my heart, I warn anybody listening to this, do not associate yourself with Tommy Sotomayor. If you want to, and you want to expose him, or if you want to be uh, critical of him, do it. But do not associate your main brand or your main channel with him because you are asking for more problems than you could foresee. And I'm just going to give you a couple of my problems. So here's number one. Like I said, I, uh, I've done 31 videos, basically all about Tommy, and I have 944 subscribers. And I have looked into the world of Tommy Sotomayor like I raised him. Okay. There's not too many other people that can do it the way I do it. Let's just be honest. Okay. My other channel, Covert Radio Mess Hall, five videos, never once ever, not ever daring mentioning the name Tommy Sotomayor. 952 subs and I created that channel in late August. So what, August, uh, September, October, here we are in November. That channel is only two to three months old and I already have more subs on a channel twice as old as that with six times more the amount of content and I, don't ha I still don't have enough subs to, to topple a little channel made a couple months ago with only five videos on it. That's how big you are, Tommy. You're just a mega monolithic superstar, bruh. You're a joke, Tommy. But I ain't done there. Let me tell you a true story. And this is when it really dawned on me of, of how dangerous it is to associate anything legitimate to uh, Tommy Sotomayor. I registered a new domain. Uh, it's been about, oh, it's been a little while now. I actually registered to a .com and a .org. And there was some sort of a glitch with GoDaddy. Um, I, I'm not going to get all into it, but I had to call them. Now, I've been, I've been a customer of GoDaddy's for probably since day one. And 
I, I get a customer service rep on the phone. It was a dude. You could tell he was a younger dude. And, you know, we're talking and this and that. And, you know, he can see all of the domains that I own because I have the majority of my main domains under one account with GoDaddy. I do have a couple accounts with them, but the majority of my domains are under one account. So he can see all of my uh, content there, all, all of the domains that I own. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. I started thinking to myself, well, here I had to call this guy. He knows my real identity. He knows where I'm at. Uh, he knows my address, my phone numbers, and he knows what every single domain that I own. All he has to be is a Tommy fan, a, a Soto zombie or whatever. And, you know, here he has my name, he has my address, he has full access to a, a lot of my uh, businesses, domains. And I, I thought to myself, how dangerous. I can't even like, you know, navigate successfully. I told you guys the story not too long ago where I was on a live stream with a pretty big content creator and i mean he's totally legit like he's all about uh helping people do better with their channels and tips and tricks and things like that and he does like this weekly um hangout and and there's uh several people on the panel that are experts i mean they have massive channels and I told you guys a story the time that uh, I was asking a couple questions and this guy popped up and said, oh, haha, ha, LOL, Covert Radio. I see you have a problem with Tommy Sotomayor too. It was just somebody else in the chat. But, you know, I, I'm embarrassed of my channel. I'm embarrassed that people know that I'm associated with Tommy. And it's dangerous, just like the guy at GoDaddy. What if he was some cult-like fan of Tommy's and now he has all my shit and he you know, contacts Tommy and says, here, dude, I got this, this, that, we can do this, I can do that, I have full access to his back end, blah, 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 blah. You know, branding. Here's some of the new shirts that I designed that I, I want to get printed up. And, but here's the thing, it's like, okay, so if I want to wear my own brand, my own t-shirt, okay, or hoodie, I mean, am I putting a target on my back here? You know, this big six foot four white dude wearing a covert radio shirt or a hoodie. And it's like somebody at some point in time is going to look at me and be like, that has to be covert radio. And then what? Where do we go from there with his sick in the head? You know, because in the beginning, I, like I, I've said this from day one, nothing would have stopped me from doing what I've done. I would have only done it differently. Because number one, I didn't know Tommy was a joke. I thought he was legit. Number two, I had no idea that Tommy was nowhere near as big as what he claims to be. He's not. And math doesn't lie. And I'm going to show you guys a few numbers here in, in a few minutes. And number three, I never knew that he had such a dangerous, insane following. Tommy has lost the majority of his sane subscribers. The people that follow Tommy Sotomayor at this point right now are basically the lowest of the low. They're idiots. And even Tommy has said to himself with his own mouth that his followers are idiots. That's where he's at. And, you know, I had a long conversation with uh, Kiki Green in, in a uh, email and uh, I wish I would have known her before she had uh, agreed to do a one-on-one -on -one with Tommy and I'm going to show you guys something here about that too you know Tommy I know that you, you know over the last month or so you probably felt this little bit of uh, you know ease off of your throat region your neck and throat area that that was me lifting my foot a little bit off your throat uh, so yeah you're welcome I was letting you breathe a little bit there because some things are more important and I've even said that in my last video I said what does it matter looking into the world of Tommy Sotomayor if uh, there's no world to look into or look from so, you know, because of the election, because of him being a Trump supporter or, or a fake conservative, I'm, I'm starting to believe. 
uh, Tommy uh, had gotten me to back off of him a little bit because like I said there are some things that are more important and Tommy having back-to-back -back shows about the election and you know spitting truth about um, the the uh, the presidential candidates you know I just let him go I let him alone because like I said there's just some things that are more important but what brought me all back into focus is not only what's been going on with True Freeman, but also what Tommy had did to Kiki Green. If you guys don't know, uh, Kiki Green is fairly new as far as I know. I don't know her. I just seen her uh, on the live stream, the one on one with Tommy, and then I looked into her and everything. But her channel is fairly new. She created her uh, Kiki Green channel on January the 8th of 2016. She already has 22,790 subscribers. She's a Christian conservative. She's a new mother. And, you know, uh, I've never really disagreed too much with a lot of things she has said. Though I, I've, I've only watched a couple of her videos. Like I said, I didn't know anything about her until Tommy did a one-on-one -on -one with her. But... What, what I watched transpire changed everything for me about taking my foot off of his throat and focusing straight back into you, Tommy, because you are not going to do this to other conservatives. And you're not going to do what you did to other Christian conservatives, if I have anything to say about it. So what you did to Kiki is causing me to come back at you. You see how this works? Because why would I stop looking into the world of Tommy Sotomayor if you're going to attack another conservative with a, a following of over 20,000 subscribers? Because you're sick in the head and you're a misogynist and you can't get over yourself. And you are scared to death of people like Kiki Green, Tommy. You're scared to death of people like her who are intelligent, who are black, who are women, and who have a huge following. And I even told Kiki this. I said, Kiki, Tommy doesn't want to share the spotlight. But see, here's the facts. Tommy has lost those intelligent viewers, whether they're white or black or yellow or brown or whatever, it doesn't matter. The majority of the intelligent people that Tommy Sotomayor at one point in time did have an audience with are long gone. He is at the bottom of the barrel with his audience now, and that's where he's been for several months. You know, he doesn't want anybody to take that shine, to take the white shine away from him. He's scared to death of Kiki Green. And because of that, he purposely set her up to attack her, to discredit her, to shame her, to make her look crazy and do whatever he could to try to show her audience, well, I'm more intelligent than her, so you might as well just subscribe to me. It doesn't work anymore, Tommy. You're discredited. You're a liar. You're see-through. You've committed fraud and potentially grand larceny. And the list goes on and on and on. Not to mention your daughter. Not to mention your hits that you've put out on people. All of which is documented. You are a master at gaslighting people, Tommy. A master. But because of people like me and True Freeman and who else? I mean, there's several more. Jay Black hasn't been around, but like keyboard musician and Mitchell and, you know, there's a bunch. But people like us, Tommy, we see... 
I guess the way I can explain it is like this. All these people, everybody I just mentioned, we don't see what your zombie Soto nation sees, Tommy. We don't see that. We see something different. We see lies. We see deception. We see fraud. We see hate. We see child abuse, child endangerment, misogyny. You know, we see, uh, some of us even see a entity that's being completely controlled and who has been infested with the spirit of Judas. Yes, Judas Iscariot. That's what we see, Tommy. You know, but you're always going to have, uh, there's always two sides to the coin. Call, call it whatever you want, bread and circus. You can uh, liken it to the gladiators, tribalism, you know, my team versus your team, or my flag is brighter than your flag, or, you know, let's just, let's just take it up to current uh, examples of my presidential candidate is better than your presidential candidate. You know what I mean? You know, Tommy, no, not everybody's going to ever agree with you and not everybody's going to see what you see. And you, sir, are a self-professed public figure. And I don't understand what all this flagging is all about from you all of a sudden with uh, True Freeman and Black Queen. And, you know, you're a public figure, Tommy. Like it or not, you are a public figure. So... What that means is you are held to a different set of rules, legal rules, when it comes to people criticizing you, when it comes to people reporting on you, when it comes to people, you know, putting you under scrutiny. You are, you are held to a different level. You are not a private citizen. You could go to Google and search Tommy Sotomayor. His image comes... Here, here's the screenshot right here. His Wikipedia, his image. Type in Covert Radio. You won't see any of this. Type in True Freeman. You won't see any of that. Black Queen, nothing. We're not public figures, Tommy. You are a self-professed public figure. So you are held to a different standard. People can say and do basically whatever they want with regards of criticism and scrutiny. And as far as any type of defamation or trying to hold somebody liable or hold somebody uh, accountable for slander against you, you would legally have to sue somebody. You know, like if, if somebody makes incorrect statements or harmful statements about Tommy Sotomayor and they were published, that alone cannot be the basis of a lawsuit for defamation or slander or libel unless you, Tommy Sotomayor, unless you have proof that somebody intentionally tried to defame you with malice. That is the legal version of somebody taking a look into the world of Tommy Sotomayor. So if you keep trying to be trigger happy with all this flagging, it's going to come back onto you, Tommy. Take a look at this, the RCFP.org, and this deals with FOIA, mainly for reporters. It's called the Reporters Committee for Freedom of the Press, and this is uh, Section 8 of the Federal FOIA Appeals Guide. And we're going to talk about the nature of privacy dealing with public people. Let me just read this to you real quick. Another factor that may significantly diminish the privacy interest is a subject's public figure or public official status. Persons who have placed themselves in the public light, whether it's politics, voluntarily, 
you have significantly diminished your privacy much more than others. So you don't really have any privacy, Tommy. Everything you say, everything you do is up for debate. It's up for scrutiny. It's up to be taken a look at. So like I said, you better be careful with your uh, flagging because if you start trying to flag me, I'm telling you, I will take it as harassment. Here, Tommy Sotomayor's Wikipedia. So whatever. You know, I know you're trying to stifle truth. I know you're trying to stifle a dissenting opinion. But again, you're not going to please everybody, Tommy. We don't see what your Soto zombies see. You know, and then you try to flag people because of copyright and all this stuff. How is this any different, Tommy? Please explain this to me. How is it different when you take news reports and news clips from many different news outlets from all over the country and at times from different places in the world. How is that any different? You play them, you play their audio, you play their video, you criticize it, scrutinize it. Nine times out of 10, you put your evil twist of uh, misogyny and hate on it. But how is that any different? from what you do then from black queen you know playing some of your uh one of your clips of one of your shows or something and having something to say about it or true freeman you know streaming one of your shows and critiquing you you know you're walking down a slippery slope tommy nobody's playing with you dude we're not playing nobody's playing with you so Get out of the public light if you don't want to be scrutinized by the public. You know what I mean? But back to uh, me lifting my foot off of his throat for a little while until he uh, <laughs> attacked Kiki Green and her husband. You know, again, this is what really started me back. There's some things that are more important. And Tommy, I'm not going to sit idly by while you attack a Christian conservative. There's no way I'm going to do that. So, for the record, Tommy contacted her. And I'm telling you, and I told Kiki this, I know why he did it. He had no intention at all of talking about conservatism. He had no intention at all of bringing any light to her channel. He purposely invited her into a lion's den because he knew the very first opportunity he had to take that conversation straight to the left, he was going to do it. And again, to try to make her look crazy, unstable, or whatever. M me, Tommy Smart, me on top. You, black woman, stupid. You on bottom. That's his M.O. That's what he's all about. Tommy will never debate somebody that's smarter than him. He will never ever debate somebody or have a one-on-one -on -one with somebody who is a wordsmith like he is. He purposely set her up to attack her, to try to attack her channel. And I'm gonna play a, a clip for you here. I want you to watch this. I'm gonna turn the audio down on this. Uh, not only did he attack Kiki Green, but he also attacked her uh, husband or boyfriend or you know fiance they have a child together i guess from what i understand but there was something wrong with this skype call and here's tommy i want you to look at his face i'm not going to play a lot of this but i want you to look at how happy he is he's so happy because in his mind his whole plan worked it all came together He's already at this point made uh, Kiki look crazy, un unstable, and insane. And now he got her man coming up and he knows what he's going to do to him. Look how giddy and happy he is. Watch this. Give me two seconds. Oh, I'm going to shut it down. Call you right back.
I mean, just look, he's smiling, he's looking around, he's happy. Because he knows, he knows, he cannot believe that the, the guy fell for it, and he knows what he's going to do to him. Now it looks like it may be working on this end. Yep. Look, look how happy. Oh, he loves it. Yay. Yeah, sit up. He's he's ready to go. Can't wait to take it left. Can't wait for the insults and just to make these people look crazy. There. Let me rewind that because he says something here that's a little crazy. I'm going to turn it up. There we go. That's good. All right. All right. So you have the link. Yes. You got the link so you can see it and everything that's going on. So I'd like to have witnesses. Hold on a second. Let me let the audience know. I'd like to have witnesses. Tommy, you're recording live. It's not that you want witnesses for any type of a debate. You want as many people to come and watch you try to destroy this man, embarrass him, and embarrass his wife. That is what you were doing. And I'm, I've said this to Kiki. If I knew her or him... If I knew them guys before they went live with Tommy Sotomayor, I would have I, I would have told them everything I could possibly tell them. Because he will do nothing but destroy your channel and destroy your brand. He's a joke. He's dangerous. And the people that follow him at this point, all the legitimate people have, have long, long left Tommy Sotomayor. They know they've been robbed if they given if they gave him any type of money. They know they've been conned out of uh, trust. They've been conned out of money. They've been lied to. They've been misled. All of this is proven time and time and time again on my channel. The intelligent people have left Tommy Sotomayor a long time ago. But he set these people up. Let me play a clip also. You know, he, of course, his crazy, insecure, Soto zombie, uh, you know, cult members, they're going to call in and talk about Kiki Green. Let me play this clip for you real quick. I can see it in his eyes. And I, I feel I, bad for him. I honestly feel bad. That's why I started talking to him with some sense, because I see he didn't want to do all that crap he was doing in the first place. Exactly. Um, you know, it's like I could look at I could look at his eyes and the way I feel sometimes when I'm at work, where you know you've been there for eight, nine hours a day, you're just working and working, like, man, I wanna go home, you don't hear nobody come and argue with you. It's like he's been like that yep. ever since they've been together. And the kid does not make it any better because now he's legally obligated he's to- He's trapped. He <laughs> I mean, what is wrong with you people? You met a guy, you didn't even meet him, you seen him on a live stream. And this insane Soto zombie is telling Tommy an epithet of how I can see it in his eyes. Uh, I can see when he was seven years old, he fell down and skinned his knee uh, across from the old oak tree on Main Street. Like, he's trapped. Uh, I, You know how when you work a long day, like, what are you talking about? Does anybody understand how insane this is? Let me let me hit play. There's only a couple more seconds of this. You know, yeah. if he break up with her in any kind of damn way, child support on his ass, she gonna not let him see his kid. That woman, I want y'all to understand, this woman is this animated and this argumentative. She just had the baby. Just had it. You're insane, Tommy. You're simply insane. And the caller, if it's a real caller or not, they are insane. You're speculating about somebody that you don't even know. And then you're going to continue to speculate that her emotions or anything else are the way they were because she just had a baby? So what? The baby fresh out the oven. <laughs> what woman wants to sit around and be a, 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 a YouTube star? See, there it is. Kiki, I told you. There it is. He had, this had nothing to do with conservatism. 
What woman wants to sit around and be a YouTube star? That's why he attacked you. Because whatever numbers you have, that's money in Tommy's pocket if he can get 10%, 5% of those people. That's what this was all about. Trying to discredit you and have himself look smarter than you and look smarter than... But it backfired. Real people understand that it completely backfired in his face, but here he is gaslighting. He got to keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. What woman wants to be a... Like, what'd you say? Let me rewind that a couple seconds. Uh, uh, a YouTube star. She just had a baby, but guess what her YouTube videos ain't about? How to be a mom! And honestly, that would be a good, for her herself, that would have been a good thing. You could be like, hey, I'm a new mother, you know, I'm learning how to do this. Here's some quick tips for all the new- Oh, nobody's ever done that before. Shut up. Again, Kiki, you see what this is about? Here's Tommy trying to tell you to change your platform now. Because he don't want that. He, he don't want you to have any of the shine, Kiki. He's jealous of you. That's how insecure he is. He had to pick a fight and derail an intelligent black woman with a massive following on a brand new channel. That is Tommy Sotomayor. You see what's important to him. What, what, what mother wants to sit on YouTube all day? Well, what single deadbeat dad who's a con artist, a liar, and a thief, to name just a few, wants to sit on YouTube all day while plagiarizing other people's news stories and putting a twist of hate and misogyny on it? Tommy Sotomayor does. Tommy, are you that stupid? Nobody, see, I tell you this time and time again, nobody is as stupid as you think they are. Just because you were able to steal over $200,000 out of people's pockets, that doesn't mean you're any smarter than they are. People have caught on. You conned them. Quit thinking you're so smart, Tommy, because you're not. You can't talk Kiki out of her channel. You can't talk her out of her content. And the reality of it is this, that would be a dream job for a stay-at-home mother. What mother, brand new mother, wouldn't want to stay home with her brand new baby, make an income off of YouTube, and talking passionately and intelligently about the content she wants to talk about? That is a dream job, perfect scenario for a new mother but that's how stupid you are or that's how stupid you want people to be by trying to talk somebody out of a dream job you're an idiot Tommy yep but no she wants to be Mrs. I am the the um the black female um uh, Megan Kelly and you're gonna love me and the fact is and I'm just gonna keep pointing this out to y'all Black women have no self-control. There you go, Kiki. I'm done playing this. He set you up. He set this all up. He wanted to prove that's what this was all about, and that's why he contacted you. Whatever he had to do to take it left, to show you out of control, is exactly what he was going to do, and he did it. But don't worry, hon. Everything's okay. We all know about Tommy. None of your core audience is even going to care about him he's done he's old news he's old news he's done the days of tommy sotomayor are are they've been over we're at the final days of tommy sotomayor what let, let me explain it like this what, what we're watching okay i don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie the perfect storm it was uh george clooney and mark Wahlberg, and they were uh fishermen and you know, they were uh, caught in like one of the big, it was based on a true story, but there's a scene in that movie where, you know, they're, they're in the storm already. And you know, they're, the ships, like all uh, the windows are broken out by now and stuff, but you know, they're fighting against the waves and all of a sudden way off in the distance, they see this glimmer of sunshine coming through the clouds. 
and uh, you know, Mark Wahlberg gets all happy and he's like, Captain Cat, we're going to make it. We're going to make it out of this. And then all of a sudden the sky turns black and these huge, huge waves start coming in and just pushing them back, pushing them back. And uh, George Clooney goes something like, no, no, she, she's not going to let us out of this. And it pushed the boat back to the center of the storm. That's what we're watching with Tommy. He's having these couple glimmers of hope every now and again, but he, he doesn't know when he's winning and he ruins it every time. He doesn't know how to win. He has plateaued. He, he's on the downside of the slope now. That's what we're watching. Some of us are watching it while others are feeling it. I know I can feel it. Woohoo! Oh, them dogs, Tommy. Huh? Mm mm. I can feel it. True Freeman boy got your number. Got your number, Tommy, don't he? Yeah, he got you shook. Tommy, you can't hide it. You cannot hide it. Shook. I told you. I've said it twice. This is the third time and the last time. Do not underestimate True Freeman. Remember I told you that, Tommy, months ago. Months ago. You didn't listen. And then all of a sudden... Hmm? I told you. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, he got you, Tommy. He got you. You know, not only was Kiki Green a threat to Tommy, and he felt like he had to do all he can to destroy her, he knows that True Freeman is a is a massive threat let me show you a magic trick of tommy sotomayor's you know again tommy you don't i mean you don't have some people fooled i'm one of them you don't have me fooled true freeman is another one you do not have true freeman fooled you know i guess uh for a, a few days now it's been back and forth back and forth uh tommy in his uh, idiocy thinks it's a good idea <laughs> to stream True Freeman talking about Tommy. And that's never a good idea, especially when it's nothing but truth. And Tommy's slowly figuring that out. At the same time, I'm watching the hair turn grayer and grayer on his goatee. But um, I'm going to play a clip for you here. This is... Uh, this is another example of how Tommy has no fatherly instincts at all. None. Zero. Five YouTube channels tonight just to upload that motherfucking original video I did. Now, I ain't got access to the stream. And what the fuck I should have did was downloaded my stream before you moved because I went, I went in hardcore on that stream. But we gonna get that back. It just gonna take some time for it. Now, mind you, I'm not going to play the actual stream from Tommy or True. What we're listening to is just the audio, but I have a screenshot of the uh, scenario as this unfolded. Tommy's young daughter is sitting on his lap listening to this. And if you look at the, uh, if you look at the chat here, you know, one, two, the second one down, Troll Hero says, wow, the swear words. Next comment, Alex is in the room. A another comment uh, almost towards the bottom. Tommy, I know you're not letting your daughter hear this man talk like this. I thought you didn't want your daughter to hear this mess. Well, you people are starting to find out what Tommy really cares about. And it's not that little girl sitting on his lap. Because I'm going to prove to you with his own words how if her mother would ever put child support on him, he would write that little girl off in a nanosecond. Just like he has done to his other daughter 
who's only two, one or two years younger than Alex. As soon as the mother requested child support, he wrote them all off. And, he, and I have the audio. I'm going to play it for you here in a moment. You people who follow this man, you're starting to understand. He doesn't care. The only thing Tommy Sotomayor cares about is money. That's it. Hold on, let me get logged into this motherfucker computer. It's my goddamn password. Now y'all hear how mad this guy sounds, and I don't know him. No, it wasn't. That's why wrong can't you see him? Because I'm not putting his stuff up. I'm not this is what Tommy's doing. Him. He's running around. You don't need to see him. You flagging the truth. You want to see him go this to the channel? Literally, I'm gonna tell y'all. If y'all missed the stream I did earlier, man, you motherfucker. Boy, y'all pissed out. And you know what I mean? I, I got the original video downloaded. There's nothing to that, man. It's that, that, that motherfucker going everywhere, nigga. Since you want to play this motherfucking game, and matter of fact, I'm going to share this motherfucking stream, I, the video I did earlier with any motherfucking body that wants it and wants to either put it on their channel. Matter of fact, I recommend you don't put it on your channel because even though you may get it back, he's going to flag you down and shut you down for a, a period of time. I recommend you create motherfucking bullshit accounts and let's upload this motherfucking man. Listen how often he matter uses the fact, term ML. Sometime tomorrow, I have another and I'll try to give as much detail as possible as I did in the stream I did today so a lot of you guys can get a whiff of what was really motherfucking broke down today. Tommy is scared. Literally. He talking about motherfucking censoring him? Bitch, you keep flagging my channel, man. You got my content on your channel right fucking now, you bitch, nigga. Serious, though. You got my content on your channels right now. But yet, a motherfucker break down your shit, nigga. And, and, and here's the thing. It's not me even using your content that's a problem. It's how I break shit down that's waking people up, you fucking fuck boy. You fucking cool ass, bitch ass, Uncle Tom ass nigga. Listen to the way you talking to me. Yeah, block them bitches. Yeah, you a bitch, you are scared, nigga. Listen. And that ain't even Tommy, but it probably is. It probably is coming in under his own name, but under a account that he. Why is my daughter here? Because I want my daughter to understand how sick people are. Because my daughter has to still live in this world, and I've never let her hear any of this crap. But it's time for her to hear this crap. Because when she's walking down the street, people she may think are regular people are not. All these people are threats, and I'm making sure that my daughter understands that these people are threats. Exactly, Tommy. Just like you, and just like 99.999% of the mindless Soto Zombie cult members that hatefully follow you, and every word that comes out of your mouth is gospel to them. They are a threat to your daughter. They are a threat and you're the biggest threat because you're creating generations and generations of people who are dehumanizing, disregarding and casting away black women because of your mouth. I see a young black woman sitting on your lap there, Tommy. You are such a hypocrite. You're such a hypocrite. True Freeman is not creating legions of mindless, dangerous people who have nothing but hate in their hearts. You are. You are. You're the threat. You're the threat.
this is all about money. It has nothing to do with threats or protecting or I want her to hear this and uh, so she can learn how some people are. All she has to do is turn around and look at the biggest danger in her life that's literally six inches from her face. Because Alex, honey, I hate to tell you this, but your dad threw away your sister over money. You don't think he'd do it to you the day that your mom asked for child support? Here's another thing daddy says that I think you need to hear. Well, excuse me. Here's a scenario. I got a text message today, and the text message said, um, do you plan on, do you plan on paying child support this month? I didn't get, uh, a check, nor did the child support people send me a check. Now, Mind you, I think maybe I'm like a couple days behind because I've been out here in L.A. And when I tried to pay for it online, the online system is down. So I said, when I get back, I'm just going to go and pay for it in Arizona. I didn't think it'd be a big deal to be a couple days late. But money that you apparently been living with before, your, before you were able to siphon money out of me, I'd assume. But then you guys know reports I've done of black women to where they, if they're getting money from the state, then they'll spend all that money because they are looking for that money to come on the 1st or the 15th. And if it doesn't come, they're broke because they spent everything before because they live life based upon what they think they're getting. So apparently what's happening is she's living life so good off of, I don't know, me? I'm not sure. I don't know how to call it. It's not my business at this point because I don't really give a crap. And that's why I want the question. That she literally had to hit me up and say to me, not when are you going to see your daughter again. I didn't get that email. I didn't get that text message. I didn't get that text message that said, hey, when are you guys going to hang out again? Didn't get that. What I got, though, was, hey, you're a couple days late on this child support. Uh, I didn't get the check. What's that? Are you going to pay this month? Hmm. April, May, June, July, August, September, October. We're seven months into this whole game and already had a couple of arguments about money. Before, when I was with my little girl this summer, she had told the little girl, your daddy got money. So if you need something, you ask him. So the little girl was asking me for all kinds of stuff. Video games, toys, phone, eight now. Says she needed her own cell phone, all this stuff. My older one don't even use her cell phone and she has it. You know, Tommy, you talk about your older one like she's 5, 10 years old. She's only one to two years older than the one you're speaking about right now. Again, Tommy, you're not fooling everyone. Okay? Leaves it at home. She's responsible. But then she was raised with me being there her whole life. Now, I told you guys, the one thing I will not do is let anybody control me, and I don't give a damn who it is. I don't care if it's, it's kid, if it's 99 kids of mine. You make it difficult for me to be their parent, I'm going to let you be their parent by themselves. You don't have to take my word for it. But if I've known this little girl for eight years, i go eight more. I'm all right. Wow. Hmm. Just wow. I know it may sound bad to some of y'all, but let me tell you something. I have a 10-year-old who needs me every day, who's used to having me there every day. The 8-year-old isn't. Whatever they were doing for the first 8 years of her life, they felt like she didn't need me. So that's a lie, Tommy, isn't it? Because doesn't the 10-year-old live in Atlanta and you live in Arizona? Previous to that, you lived in Los Angeles or something? Like, you're lying. Again, I know you can't help it needs you every day what child doesn't need their father every day answer that what child doesn't need their father every day so i'm not going to sit up there and try to beat myself down go through court all week long trying to make sure i'm in her life i'm all right i got a life to live and one day it's going to end I didn't ask that woman to have that baby. She had it. It's hers. The court tell me I got to pay for it. I'll try to be a father. 
you make it difficult, I'm gonna let you have it. I won't cry that one one night. You won't see me on video saying, oh, I see my new girl. Nope, I'm good. I'm done with that. So, but you get the gist of it. There it is. As long as you don't hound him for child support, he'll interact with his own children. But the second you want to hound him or mention child support to him, he'll write everybody off. He's his own words. I don't care. I didn't know her for eight years. I don't need to know her for another eight years. That's your child. It ain't mine. I'd love to know what would happen if Alex's mom would ever put him on child support. I guarantee you that he would write her off too because he doesn't care. He doesn't care. You know, I actually have about another couple minutes of that, but I can't listen to it. You know, I've said this before with Tommy. It's like there's demons gnawing on my soul right now. I can't, I, I like, I cannot stomach too much of him. I can't. But I am going to play one, a couple more clips that I want want to uh, play for you guys. And uh, I, have a, I have an announcement at the end of this video. Back to True Freeman and how he has Tommy literally on the ropes. I mean, Tommy's shook. You know, he, he's just, he, he, he's outside of himself dealing with True Freeman right now. Because he knows that True Freeman has the truth on his side. And Tommy is uh, sitting inside of a house made of uh, matchsticks. And it's, it's all going to come crumbling down, Tommy. The people's mansion is going to fall. The people's uh, excursion, or what is it, uh, Denali, the people's Denali, it's going to get repoed. The people's furniture that you've rented in that house, it's going to get confiscated. Okay. True Freeman has him shook. And this is why, you know, again, let me go back. I said, I'm going to mention the uh, magic trick that Tommy thinks uh, nobody else can wrap their head around. But again, it's because, you know, put it this way. If you were able to rob people of over $200,000, put cash in your pocket, and you never had to answer for it, like nothing ever happened, (laughs) you know, wouldn't you feel like uh, you can um, navigate uh, a little bit uh, ahead of everybody else? You know, I'm sure he feels that way because he did get away with it so far. It's not saying that he is going to get away with it. And like I said, I do have an announcement towards the end of the video here, but this is one of his little magic tricks. This is why he's so concerned about True Freeman. Not only is True Freeman have the truth on his side, but the numbers are astronomical. And this proves, again, how little Tommy Sotomayor actually is. Let me play this clip for you real quick. Days ago, I had 16,453 subs. Nigga, we didn't gain damn near 50 subs. Because uh, 53, 453, and 493 is a few shy of being a 50 in less than 48 hours. <laughs> Nigga, my subs ain't going down. That's what you shitty about because you see the numbers where yours are. Right? You're not getting as many subs subscribing to you as you are getting unsubscribing to you. Some of your people been over here going against you, nigga. So I would love for one of them to be able to substantiate this because if they had to prove, they would show that, hey, look, his channel went down. Now it jumped by 2,000. Oh, tricky, tricky, Tommy, Tommy. First of all, why don't you just tell everybody I just bought an additional 2,000 subscribers? Notice what he said. If anybody could substantiate these claims, they would notice that why can't they prove that my numbers have gone down instead of going up 2,000 subscribers? 
Tommy, out of the 575 million channels you have, how would you be able to pinpoint one channel climbing exactly 2,000 subscribers? You wouldn't. However, if you were on the dark web or with your affiliate programs that you work with and you went, cha-ching, I need another 2,000 subs, please, on this channel, then, then you would know what channel you've gained 2,000 subscribers on. See, if you were smart, Tommy, what you would have said was, er, 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 substantiate these numbers, but you know, none of them can prove that my channel went down. My channel's gone up 1,987 subs. Then I, I wouldn't have caught it. Probably hardly anybody else, maybe nobody else would have caught it. That's why you never, if you're selling a good or, an, you know, you never sell it for $10 or $15, especially a service. It's, it's got to be like $9.87 because people then just automatically assume that's the absolute bottom price or $14.91 or 78 cents, $14 and 78 cents. That's the best I can do. People don't question that's your lowest number. But if you tell them $15, they're going to say, well, if he said 15, I could probably knock him down to 13 or 12 even. Come on, Tommy. Yeah. Okay. So Tommy bought 2000 subs, but let me substantiate. And you know, Tommy, I have a whole video of nothing but comparing views where if you have a channel that you claim has 230,000 subscribers, but each one of your videos are only getting around 3,000 views, there's something wrong. I have an entire video like that that I've never published yet. Like I said, I am going to make a best of or a, a vault or, you know, something like the, the unseen tapes of Covert Radio because I have several shows that I have not even published yet. But let me substantiate just this fact here, Tommy's magic trick. And this is what is really driving him insane. Look at the screen. This is a dual screenshot. I'm gonna show you one at a time. This, is in, this was in real time the other day. I took, I, I put each of their shows up on each, on, on two screens and I took a screenshot. Okay, here's Tommy Sotomayor live with 44,619 supposed subscribers, okay? 44,619. He had, and this was a prime time in the evening, he had only 469 people watching out of 44,619, okay? If you look at True Freeman, which they were playing each other's channels at this point, I think. Uh, well, True wasn't playing his. I think Tommy was listening to True's. But anyway, here's True Freeman too. With the channel he was just talking about was his original channel with like 16,000 subs. But Tommy has flagged that channel. Which, he, again, back to the beginning of the video, he's walking down a slippery slope. But anyway, here's True Freeman too. 262 subs. However, he has 71 people watching. Let me tell you about Google Analytics. Okay, there, there's a lot of things that Google considers when it comes time to pay you. Okay, even though I'm not monetized, none of my channels are monetized. But I know a lot about AdSense and what they consider sort of important. Or not sort of, but what they do consider important. But here's one thing that takes a, a high priority with AdSense. If you have a channel and you have 44,619 subs on it, but you only have 469 people watching a live show, okay, the percentage of that works out to be 1.05%. So Tommy Sotomayor on this channel in a prime evening spot 
can only garner 1.5% of his active engaged audience. 1%. That's nothing. That's nothing. I've been crunching these numbers on a lot of Tommy's live shows for about the last two weeks. He barely gets to 1% night after night after night. He's been as low as like 0.03% of viewer interaction. So the analytics of this looks at it and says, well, we have a show here. It's on a prime time. They have this amount of ads, but they're only reaching 0.03% of their target audience or active engaged audience. Here's True Freeman's numbers. Out of 262 subs, 71 people were watching. That's 27.9% of his subscribers are active, engaged, viewing subscribers. Over 27% compared to Tommy's barely 1%. Who do you think is going to make more money off of ad revenue with somebody who has barely 1% of an active engaged audience or somebody who has 27% of their active engaged audience? Right. True Freeman is making more money than Tommy is making because of this one percentage. There's other things that are factored too. You know, people could also say, well, 469 people watching ads compared to 71 people watching ads, that's, that's, that counts too, that also counts. But they, they put a heavy weight on the engagement of your audience. And when you have 27% of your audience engage live with you, that's big time. Because most big YouTube channels, uh, even medium to big size, they average around seven to ten percent. That's the average of so anything really over 10, 10, 15 percent, I mean, you're you're you have an awesome engagement with your audience. That's Tommy's magic trick. That's another reason why he's so hatefully pissed at True Freeman. Not so much just the truth that's been coming out. It's also the fact that True Freeman's numbers are actually better than Tommy's numbers. And Tommy knows it. Like I said, he doesn't barely get 1% of a viewer base every night. He knows it. So to Google and AdSense, Tommy Sotomayor is not as important as True Freeman. Facts. Facts. So there's your numbers, Tommy. I just substantiated the numbers and I could go on and on and on about your real numbers. It's pathetic. It's pathetic, Tommy. But like I said, I I told you guys I have an announcement here. Um, I did sign up for the Soto Cruise 2017. I didn't pay for it, but so I guess I missed the deadline. Uh, I was going to go with the interior stateroom for uh, $878.30 for me and my wife, but I missed the deadline. However, that gave me an idea, and I want you guys to take a look at the screen, and I'm going to put the link in the description. Covert Radio is going to act as a third party, I'm going to do some oversight. I'm going to intervene in an attempt to make sure that your claim is heard. And here's what I mean by that. If you take a look at this screen, here's a form that I made from the uh, same app that was used to make the Soto Cruise 2017. And this is all provided by Google. And it's a uh, just a form, you know, it's uh, completely legitimate. But I feel there's a massive need for this. And I'm just going to read it real quick to you. 
The title of the form is this, does Tommy Sotomayor owe you money? Did you invest your hard earned money into a fatherless America documentary and or promotion? Or did you actually believe that Tommy Sotomayor was going to fight liberalism? We're over three years past the proposed release date of A Fatherless America, and there's still no movie. Tommy has said countless times, I scammed those people. I'm a con artist. There is no movie. And GoFundMe has removed all campaigns created by Tommy Sotomayor in lieu of fraud claims and fund misappropriation of over $60,000 that was collected to fight liberalism. This is a third party oversight and intervention attempt to make sure that you are heard. You can now make your claim without any fear of backlash, threats, harassment, public embarrassment, intimidation, or any other possible technique used to ignore, silence, disregard, or dismiss your request. As a third party, I can make no claim to guarantee you will be refunded. However, I do guarantee to collectively make these records available to any future legal and lawful request pertaining to a civil suit, a small claim suit, or a class action lawsuit. So Tommy has said time and time and time again, it's funny, y'all say about this money, I stole all this money. Tell me, how come nobody asked for it back? Well, Tommy, maybe they're afraid. Maybe they know that your insane, dangerous cult-like followers are going to drop docs on them, harass them, find out where their kids go to school. Like you've proven time and time and time again that you do. So here's a way with a third party involved where they don't have to fear any type of backlash from you, threats from you or your followers, any harassment, or maybe you wanna go on a rant one night and start mentioning people's names who requested their money back and try to embarrass them in front of your Soto zombie drones so they can be shunned and embarrassed. That's why. So, here it is. Here, here's the opportunity. If you, if Tommy owes you money, fill out this form. I'll keep all the records with the Google Drive and everything. It, it's going to be all private according to Google's privacy policy. And in the future, any type of legal or lawful request made, if there's a class action lawsuit or anybody needs to file a civil suit or a small claim suit, this can be permissible in that case period. If you look down through the form, it's your name, email, which project did you fund? How much did you fund? And have you requested a refund from Tommy? Yes or no? Have you requested a refund from GoFundMe? Yes or no? Have you considered legal action? There's only a few more questions. One of the important questions is this, would you like to have this request sent to Tommy on your behalf? I will gladly do that for anybody that wants to fill this form out. Your world, my views, or whatever his main contact email is on his website, every request that comes through here, and they they click yes, you know, if they want this request to be sent to Tommy on their behalf, I'll absolutely forward it off to Tommy. I can't make any guarantee that he's going to do anything with it, but like I said, I will I will intervene. I am going to be a, a third party and oversee people who are afraid to ask for their money back. So I included the link to that. Uh, it's in the description. And that's about it. I mean, I, I definitely uh, have a few more things I wanted to touch on, but, you know, I didn't want to make this a long video. Uh, again, happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Hope everybody had a good day. I want to give a shout out to my Patreons and uh, shout out to my majors, Barney T and Scorpio. 
And if you would like to consider becoming a Patreon, the link's in the description. Uh, I am self-employed, but the more support I could get through Patreon or donations, because again, I'm not monetized, but any type of support I can get uh, through Patreon or, or PayPal is just going to allow me to push some of my clients away and dedicate more time to this. I do need to dedicate more time because it just, you know, things happen so quick and they, they change. And like I said, this is at least the fourth, maybe fifth time I've recorded this video here because the next day something else happens up oh, and I want to add it to this, you know, to this show. But maybe I'll just start trying to do quick little 10, 15 minute videos. You know, we'll see. But um, like I said, check out my Patreon. Shout out to my Patreons. Uh, there's rewards at every level. Uh, also, check out my other channels. I'm constantly trying to get uh, content on those. And I'm telling you guys, like I said, my Covert Radio Mess Hall, that channel, five videos, and I already have more subscribers to that channel than I do in, in six months dealing with uh, the monolithic Tommy Sotomayor. It's a joke. It's a joke. But I touch on completely different content on my different channels. Uh, so you guys can check them out. But um, you guys take care. Have a good day.